Okay, friends, it is early, a day after we got home from Hawaii. It's not even 7.30. Come tell them what you're doing. Getting my gas off. Send your gas one last time. I have my mask. Well, that's your mask. <laughs> you gotta show your cast. Yeah, I know. Your, your cast is a cast uh, mask holder. I'm putting lotion on. That's why you guys are set on the counter. But we're gonna go get her cast off. Fingers crossed that she didn't actually break anything the second time. I'm assuming <laughs> that they're gonna do another x ray. So. I probably did I'm hoping that the second cast did the trick. We are you gonna go get in the car. Grab a brush really quick. I kept telling her last night to go to bed that this morning was gonna kick her to the patootie. She didn't really believe me. I think she believes me now. Huh? How do I turn on the car? I'm coming to the car. Let's go. Ready, Ashley? Yeah. You know how it's done this, this time, okay. huh? Okay, you ready? Can hardly wait to be out of this. Or did you like wearing it? You want to get out There you go. It's a finger. It does? Right. Yeah, it's a little tender, huh? Do you want to keep this? Look at me. Look at me. How does it feel to have it off? Yeah, you're gonna need a little manicure right there, huh? <laughs> it's kind of gross. Dusty. These are dusty. Yep. Yeah. Does it feel okay? Yeah, it hurts. It just hurts? Just stiff? Yeah. And she wanted to keep the cast again. Not sure why. Now we've got both of them? Yeah. Right? So we are just waiting on the order for the x ray, and then we'll find out if you are in the clear. Can't. What do you think? Do you think it's all better? Yeah? Yeah. Does it hurt up here where you hurt it again? A little, but it's just because it like... Just because it was stiff. It feels yeah. like your finger? Yeah. Okay. Hopefully, we don't have to do any more casts. Or like a brace. Like a... Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I have no idea. So we got your cast off, right? Yeah. Did you bring it home with you? All right, do you want to tell them why you're up, kind of upset or do you want me to? I don't care. I'll tell you in a minute. But we're gonna take you back to school? Sure. And the cast is off? Sure. That's a good thing, right? Mm -hmm. We'll take her to school, I'll be right back. Hang on. The lawnmower is pretty noisy. I just dropped Ashley off at school. What a stinker. Hang on, I'll tell you all about it. All right, Ashley. Oh my gosh. They took the cast off and they re x rayed it, right? My doctor came in. He's like, everything looks good. It looks fine. Um, but I think we're just going to be safe and, you know, remind you to keep, like, you know, stretching your hand out to like rework those muscles and tendons or whatever um because they're still pretty stiff like we saw her like try and bend her fingers and this one is pretty stiff and so he literally just pulled out like this 
little buddy tape. It's just Velcro. And it literally just wraps around the knuckles like that. She wouldn't even let me show you. <laughs> she basically told the doctor off. And she's like, I'm not wearing it. So I don't care what you say. I'm not wearing it. And he was like, oh, okay, this is a side to Ashley I haven't seen before. <laughs> I was like, yeah, this is an only in the house, Ashley, that you're never seen before. She fought with me after the doctor left and <laughs> I think part of it is that she's tired. I convinced, could not convince her that seven o'clock this morning was gonna come early for her and she was still awake at 11 o'clock last night. So one, I think she's tired. Two, I think she's just over being in the cast and over being restricted in PE and at recess. She's also like sick of not being able to go out playing with her friends after school because if they do get to play with them, they're jumping on the trampoline or they're swinging in the monkey bars at the park and she can't do that. And so she knows now if she's in this little brace, it's to remind her to not do those things. And she's over that. And I'm like, just one more week. We have a follow-up appointment in two weeks. And I told her, I was like, can you just chill out for another week and then we'll be all better by Halloween. Cause that's the reality. We're gonna, she'll be all done and set and good to go by Halloween. Anyway, she just, <laughs> You know her. She's one normally like willing to like get on camera and chat with you guys or whatever. But she's also like not defiant in front of other adults. Like not at all. Unless she's like truly like upset or hurt or whatever. I I was shocked. Even the doctor was like, oh, this isn't normal for her. And I was like, no, this is not normal for her. She's not, you know. So he's like, okay. Then he kind of did his job. He was like, okay, you need to do this. This is going to happen. He got kind of stern with her in a really professional way. He was super good. But I was like, thank you, because it can't just be me. It has to be like the doctor saying, you know. But we got her in the car. I distracted her a little bit. We talked about going out to lunch after she gets done with school today. Because um, it's Wednesday. I wanted to, I, I, I think me being gone, um, affected her more than we're aware. She had another meltdown last night with me, like completely lost it over like, I don't even remember what I asked her to do. Like, eat dinner. I, I asked her to eat dinner. <laughs> Complete meltdown. So I think she's kind of in fight or flight mode and I need to give her some extra attention today. She's gonna get all the attention because this appointment this morning and then after school, we're gonna go to lunch. And then she has an ultrasound scan that they asked me for it, if she could do it like yesterday afternoon. And I was like, yeah, totally can. She gets 75 bucks for it. So I told her that and I was like, you'll have some money to put into savings and you can go to Target and buy something. So that made her happy that she has that this afternoon. So we're just gonna spend some time together and hopefully she'll be able to like, just accept the fact that she had to wear this. I also had to tell the nurse at the school that she did not in fact break that upper arm um, because it happened on school property. She needed to file a report about it, that it happened here at school. And I was like, nope, you can just erase that. That didn't ever happen. It didn't ever pan out into anything. And so she was happy about that. And she also tell the PE teacher and her regular teacher <laughs> what these new restrictions are and that Ashley is defiant and even the the nurse and the front receptionist which we've known for a long time we've had a lot of kids here at this school and I told him I was like yeah Ashley kind of talked back to the, the doctor today and was pretty defiant about it and they were like Ashley and I was like I know right because <laughs> they know Ashley they know that that's not like her and so a little stinker all right, I'm gonna go home and edit. I have so many Hawaii videos. I'm gonna go back to Hawaii and we'll pick back up when Ashley gets done with school. All right, back from school, Ashley. Yeah. Do you wanna tell them how it was to wear your little brace? It was fine, honestly. I just kinda <laughs> wear it a little. Yeah, it was a little achy because you just got a cast off from having a broken hand. Yeah. So did it kind of help? Kind of. Yeah, kind of. I even got her a pair of gloves at Costco yesterday. They were on rebate for like $7.99 and I love those little Costco gloves. And, they, and she yeah. realized that she can wear those out to play in the evenings when it's cold, which is why I bought them. We only get snow like once a year. So 
Uh, but then she said, well, what if I wear the gloves and I can't wear the brace? And then she realized what? I can put it like over the gloves. Yeah, because it's just Velcro. So it'll just wrap right around the fingers on the outside of the gloves. So she can still go play and it'll protect her hand. So we're in better spirits now. Right, right, Ash? Yeah. Yeah. Stinker. Do you know what Miss Wendy said the, in the office? Yeah. Miss Wendy and the nurse. Yeah. We know this. <laughs> they were like, Ashley talked back to the doctor. That does not sound like the Ashley we know. <laughs> I know you didn't want to. So, we are gonna um, go get a little lunch and then go to her ultrasound scan. And then, who knows what after that. We'll show the kids her non-casted arm, I guess. And uh, kinda go from there. But I have been busy editing two different videos from our trip to Maui. And my next video that I get to edit, I'm so excited. I just got all the footage in and it's from our parasailing trip. It was so fun and the footage is so good. We have like all different angles, so it's gonna be a really fun video to edit. We're just doing a parasailing video specifically and then you'll get one more video. Hopefully you'll have already watched these, but you'll get one more video of us coming home. So anyway, that's what I've been doing all day and I'm very proud of you for kind of accepting that band. No, no words? No. No? Okay. <laughs> so Ashley is getting her very first sweet roll, right, yeah, for McDonald's? Oh. Abby usually, did you break your fork already? I broke the box. You already poked through the box? Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> you gotta reuse your hand, huh? Yeah. You haven't learned how to use that left hand for a couple weeks. Four weeks. Oh, don't get... Okay, there you go. What do you think? Good. Good? Okay, we have five minutes before you go into your appointment. Now what are you doing? Texting my friend. And what are you asking her? Where, what place did she get her ears pierced? And why are you asking that? Because I get my ears pierced. <laughs> why? Because I lasted like a whole month. Uh, 30 days? I don't know. Yeah, it didn't take you 30 days. It took you like 90 but you got 30 days on your chart, right? Yeah. And then what do you get to do after that? Get my ears pierced. Yep. Are you excited? Yeah. yeah. So no, it may not like, So that's work. the next thing she wants me to sign up for, but I don't know where to take her because Claire's is now closed. So she's asking her friends where they have gotten theirs pierced at. And... It may not work, though. What do you mean it won't work? My ears sensitive to like the metal or something. Well, that's what I'm worried about because both me and Abby have just given up on having ours pierced. I've said it before. Like, I think later in life when I can afford like real metal earrings or real, I don't even think I'd want gold, but I have to have solid metal. Uh, it can't be coated and that costs a little bit more. And then I couldn't have like any costume jewelry or anything like that. It would have to just be like really good earrings because I'm just sensitive to metals, fake metals. So I am worried that Ashley will follow its suit because you have a lot of skin irritants as well. So Chelsea is you get eczema and all that. That's exactly what, how Ashley was or Chelsea was I, and Abby I was. Rash. Yeah. I think so it's be anyway, we have three minutes. We should probably just go into our appointment now. Yeah. I've been charging my phone. I forgot, didn't charge it all the, the whole time I was at home. Um, so I've been charging my phone while I've been in here. But we're gonna go get her ultrasound done. I don't even know what they're scanning for you today, boo. I guess I should have asked. <laughs> we'll find out, know. we'll find out, huh? I, last time I did my neck. Maybe when we get home, if it's not dark, we can put out some Halloween decorations that you got. Mm -hmm. Grandpa took her and Chelsea. No. Just you? It was just on Wednesday. On Wednesday? Yeah. When she had early let out yes, last week when we were gone, Grandpa picked her up from the bus stop and took her. And he asked her what she wanted to do, if it was like ice cream or something. What did you tell him? 
Halloween decorations because we don't have any. Yeah. <laughs> Grandpa thought that was the funniest, coolest thing that you could ask for. He we, was loving it. Because we don't have any, like, Halloween decorations. I do. I just, they're in the, I don't like, anyway. I'm getting all of them out. No, I just don't like spooky decorations. So, and they do. And I'm willing to put them outside for actual Halloween. So we're two weeks away from Halloween. Wait, we are? Yeah. Almost officially <laughs> two weeks before Halloween. So Why everyone else is decorating their yard, so I said she could. Okay, let's go to your appointment. Okay. <laughs> How you doing? Good. You ready to go home? Yeah. Yeah. Are you we just talked to the, the text in there about you taking a shower tonight without your cast on, huh? Yeah. Are you excited about that? Yeah? Oh, get it, get it, get it. Do you want to go play first? You want to go out and play, no right? Play. Yes, you can play. No one can play. Yes, they can. No. Okay, we'll go find out. Okay, this cutie got to take a shower without her cast cover for the first time. Yeah. And we've clipped your nails that hadn't gotten clipped in four or five weeks. I don't even know if we clipped them before you got your cast on. We didn't. Uh-uh. So that's pretty nasty. We didn't know that we had a... Get a cast. A cast. So she's wrapping it, wrapping it around three fingers because she says that feels better. So, hey, wait, wait, wait. Was the doctor right? Yes. <laughs> you don't like that he was right, do you? Yep. All what right. I do rock climbing now? <laughs> yeah, I tell you guys, she doesn't even stop. I don't know. You doc your doctor told you two weeks of no extra stuff. Correct? Yes. You are such a stinker. Go brush your teeth. It's time for bed. Yes? Go. You also yes. need to make your sandwiches for the week. Yeah. Okay? Run. Go. She is such a stinker. I'm going to end this video here, you guys. We've had a lot better night tonight. She got a lot of devoted attention with me today, which was probably what she needed and why we had such a hard night last night. And she's very happy to have that cast off. And so am I, because it's no longer one of another issue that she adds to the plate. So anyway, it's been an interesting time back at home. I am editing. Can you see? What is that? I've been editing the parasailing video. Uh, it's very rock cut right now, but I'm doing the picture, the little thumbnail that you guys see when you click on it right now. And uh, Jason just got home. Kids are all just finishing up for the night. So I'm gonna say good night to you. Um, I'll be honest, I don't know what I'm gonna film next because I spend a lot of my days editing these videos and Jason's working all the time now. <laughs> so I'm not really doing anything fun. Uh, but we will see you soon. You'll see me in the next video. I just don't know how many days it's going to be between videos. So take care and we'll see you guys next time. Good night.